What's going on, guys? Before we get into today's content, just to let everybody know, sorry about not being very active over about the past week. Um, I tried to stream here and there, but life's been kind of chaotic with work. And then, of course, my daughter Mackenzie, she broke her arm on Monday. So we've been taking care of that. She's doing much better now. She's got her arm all casted up. Um, but if you guys haven't already, though, please check out the merch store. Check out the Bell Mountain Collection. Use the link down below. Uh, check out all the t-shirts. We have our new F That Itch shirt still up. Uh, we have some other things as well. Of course, winter time is coming, so we have some hoodies. We also have some other merch coming uh, this way before the holidays. So again, please check that stuff out. Use code FAIL to save a couple bucks because when you guys purchase merch, it helps support the channel, helps support me, especially right now with all the chaos going on. So let's get in with today's content and go from there. All right, guys, we have a little short video for you guys today. Uh, some people have asked me, how do I get some music in my background, in my stream, and how do I make sure I don't get DMCA'd? Um, so that's a really tough question. Um, there's a lot of ways to go around it, but my favorite way of doing it is going through Pretzel Rocks. If you look up Pretzel Rocks, just said kind of a Google search. It'll be the first link right here. And then you can go ahead and you have three different options. You can either play it through the browser, and then if you have your normal stream set up, it'll just pick it up through your desktop audio. Um, you have a compact mode, which obviously just shrinks it down, so it's not just a giant web page. Or we can do it my favorite way of doing it and you can actually download Pretzel Rock. So I'm gonna go ahead and install that and we're gonna go from there. Okay, now that we have it installed and we have the application opened up, you're gonna be greeted by the login with Twitch. Now, fun fact, Twitch is a nice integration because you can actually have the bot that is part of the app um, post the name of the song as you're playing. So let me log in and we'll kind of go from there. Hang on real tight. All right, now that you have Pretzel installed, let's kick off by getting some music into the stream. Now, we'll give kind of a snapshot over everything real quick. I won't go into detail on using Pretzel. Obviously, if you guys ever used a music interface before or any type of music app, whether it's you know, Pretzel or iTunes or music, music, Windows Music Player or Spotify or Pandora, they all pretty much look the same. But the big thing about Pretzel, Pretzel's music is DMCA protected, which means you can use most of these tracks for almost anything that you're doing music, uh, whether it's YouTube video or, or streaming, and DMCA should not be an issue. The music, the whole purpose of Pretzel was basically to combat the DMCA issue. Also, it's kind of nice because you have artists that are making music that also support streamers and content creators and are like, hey, no, this is cool. I made this music for you guys to enjoy, for you guys to use in videos because it works both ways. We're playing their music in our content or our streams and people that hear that music might go back and find that music and enjoy that music and start following that artist. It works both ways, right? So I think Pretzel's great. Now, for those that don't care about DMCA strikes, obviously you guys can kind of listen through and follow through. You can still play music the same way with most apps, but I don't advise using music that's not gonna protect you from DMCA strikes. Now. On the top here, you'll see a YouTube safe button. Um, there are some music that will get flagged by YouTube just because of the way YouTube is. Not that you'll get a DMCA you know, strike issue. Um, it's just one of those things that I just like to be safe and not to worry about it. They have a mature option that you can turn on and off. And they have an instrumental option that you can turn on and off. Um, I don't really care about those two. I just kind of let YouTube safe play and then kind of call it a day. Now you have an upgrade option to get premium. Premium is 15 bucks a month. It allows you uh, some extra integrations for Twitch. Now they don't have any other integrations for like YouTube yet or Facebook gaming. Hopefully that's some of that stuff's coming. But again, I use it for a very simple way of just having music in my stream. Now, what you can do, we'll move this over a little bit so we can see Streamlabs. If you're on a single PC setup and your desktop audio is what's going to the stream and obviously your microphones get picked up separately, you literally could just turn around and hit play and call it a day. Now you guys can't hear the music, but obviously you can see on the desktop audio right now, music is definitely playing. And that's it. You've now put music into your stream. That's going to pretty much be protected by DMCA strikes. You don't have to worry about that. And you're good to go. But let's say you want to take it one step further. Um, the reason why you might want to take it one step further is if you are an FPS type player or uh, using sound as a big part of a game, um, or maybe you want to be able to control the volume a little bit more. And what I mean by that is right now, if you notice, I have the mixer really low on pretzel. And look how loud it is in the stream. Now, if you turn it up, it gets louder for the stream, which, which you guys can't tell right now because the way I'm recording, it's a lot louder on my headset. Um, and that could be a big issue for a lot of games because now you are basically being overpowered with sound and the stream now can hear it or maybe it's too loud for them, vice versa. Or maybe it's too loud for them, but you have it turned all the way down and now you have no way to adjust it separately independently. I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, the nice thing about Pretzel is they have an option. We'll go ahead and pause the music. 
we have an option in the settings where you can change the output audio device. Now, that's what we're going to do. Now, right now it's under default, which is your desktop audio. So we're going to select here. And what I advise to do is use your optical output because not many, very many people are using their optical output. Now, I have a lot more options here. I do have a Go XLR, um, which is set up a little bit differently. Again, I will make a different video for this, for the Go XLR, because it gets very, very complicated. Um, not so much because of actually setting it up, mainly because if you've never mixed, messed with a mixer before, easily could turn into like a 20 to 30 minute video, and I'm not trying to do that right now. I'm just trying to help you guys get some music in your stream. So for me, my Realtek Right Audio is my optical output, so we'll go ahead and select that. Now, if you notice, desktop audio, if I hit play, there's nothing. It doesn't exist. Now, here's the neat part. So if we go back to Streamlabs, and let's say we select add a new source, add a audio output capture, hit add source. Uh, we'll name this music, add a source. And then we select our right audio output. Boom. Notice I've got the music playing. Now we have music here. And if I turn it up, it gets louder. Now you can now stream music without actually having to hear it in your, uh, in your headphones. Now what's also nice about this is now you can now adjust it separately from the desktop audio that's up here. So if you're playing a video game, that's say maybe just as loud as my microphone, now you have music that is playing in the background at let's say negative 40 decibels obviously you might need to tweak it depending on your setups and depending on what the stream says i always like to ask my stream hey is the music loud enough or good enough for you guys um but let's say we said i have it set to negative 40 boom now you can play your game you don't hear any of the music playing and now they can enjoy the music while you're playing awesome way especially if you play fps games or a game that you really need to hear in um to be able to overlap music like that but let's take it another step further Let's say you want to have a starting uh, a, like a starting screen, okay? So let's go over and add a new scene. We'll call it starting, because you know that's original. Hit done. Okay, and we'll drag the source up. Now let's say, I don't have anything in the background right now, but let's say you had a animation going on saying stream starting soon. You can go again, add new source, audio output capture, add source. Now. This is where most people would just select music, which is fine. You could totally do that. And what it would do is actually we'll do it. We'll add the source. And if you notice, it added the music source, but it's already set to negative 40. If I were to adjust this to, let's say negative 22.5, if I go to my original scene, if you notice my music is at negative 22.5 because I added the same source. That does not mean it, it's a separate source between the two scenes. It's the same source that just gets carried between the two scenes. So let's go ahead and notch that back down. We'll say negative 40. We'll go back to starting. Let's add this in a way that we can have music maybe a little bit louder on our starting display. And then when we go to our scene, it's a lower volume. So let's go ahead and remove this music. Oh, not rename. Remove. Yes. We can go to add new source. Audio output capture. Add source. And then we're gonna go down here to add a new source instead. We'll call it starting music. Again, very original. Add source. Now we need to select what we're uh, where we're getting our source from. So again, we'll select our audio, our optical output. Hit done. Now if you notice, it's turned up really loud. Okay, boom. So our music is jamming. We got let's say we had a starting animation whatever the case is and we're just jamming the music right and let's say our mic's muted on this source and all they're hearing is just the music but as soon as we switch over to our other scene if you guys notice the music turned down because obviously you have a game playing in the background or if you see if i'm just talking now if you go between the two it's louder in your starting or let's say this is your brb or your ending and then if you go to your main scene, it instantly turns the music down. You don't have to mess with any more sliding. You can have everything preset, ready to go. And now it adds a nice effect where it's like, oh, wow, that's cool. He changed scenes and it lowered the volume. So like you could hear him better, hear the game better. It's a neat way of doing it without having to go crazy, adding a ton of mixers and audio adjustments. Um, it's a really neat, neat way to do it. Now, if you guys don't care about hearing the music through your headset, you can go one step further. Um, you can actually go down to this gear right here. 
go to, I believe, no, sorry, go to the main audio properties and you can actually set it to monitor. So if we go to music and we go to say monitor and output, you can't hear it, but here's the issue with that. It duplicates the audio. Now in a perfect world, this audio and this audio, because it's playing through the same, you know, same level, you should not hear a difference. Sometimes that's not the case. Sometimes you'll hear both audios. You might hear a slight delay between either and it's gonna sound really weird. I don't recommend doing this. I recommend doing it through some software, which again, I'll do in another video, show you how to do it with some software um, or do it with a mixer because sometimes that doesn't always work perfectly. Now, we can go one step further with this music. Let's say we wanna have music playing when we're live but let's say if you let's say you're a person that streams on Twitch or Facebook, um, or even YouTube, but mainly we're looking for Twitch. This is really mainly for Twitch. Let's say if you're playing music, but you don't want the music in your VOD. Let's show you how to fix that. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go down here to your settings. Okay, you're gonna go to uh, your output and then you're gonna to wanna to go to advanced, okay? You're gonna notice there's an audio track and Twitch VOD. Mainly this is for Twitch. Twitch has a lot more integrations because Twitch is the, really the bigger the streaming platform that I would say YouTube and Facebook gaming right now. That may change, they might update it eventually and give you options for different encoding types and whatnot for different platforms, but right now it's mainly for Twitch. If you select Twitch VOD, you will then select what channel one through six gets saved to the VOD track. So we're gonna select two. We're gonna close that out and we're gonna go over here to our mixer. Again, our music's still playing. If you look over here to the right, you'll see all these different track numbers. What you're going to want to do, you are going to want to select your music and number two, and you want to turn it off. What that means is every every other audio, desktop audio is on track one and two, mic is gonna be saved on track one and two, music will only be saved to track one, two, or one, it won't be saved on two, because again, if you remember, if we go back to settings, our Twitch VOD is on track two, which means only the audio track on channel two will get saved to the VOD. This is how you can play music without having music in your in your VODs. Now, for the people that are going to use this to get around the DMCA issue, thinking, okay, cool, now I can play whatever music I want because it won't be saved in the VOD, that is not true. You can still be DMCA'd while you are live. That is still a thing. I do not recommend that. That is not what this video is for. But in theory, you could do that. Not that I would advise it. But anyway, again, guys, I hope this video helps get you guys kind of steered around how to get some music integration in your stream. Again, we'll have another video come out for how to do it with a GoXLR or some digital mixtures as well. Again, thank you everybody that's been hanging out. I uh, haven't already hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. This way you guys know when I go live, when I post videos and stuff like that. Uh, I've been playing a lot of New World, uh, mainly because I've been dealing with some family stuff and going live and doing a lot of gaming has been kind of tough. Um, again, make sure you please check out uh, the merch store down below. Check out the link. Use code FAIL to save a couple bucks at checkout. It helps support me in the channel, especially right now since my little one broke her arm. And uh, yeah, again, much love. You guys have a wonderful, 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 wonderful time. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.